Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Susan and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Stice Gate Zero episode 9. So yeah, things have gotten a lot more complicated. I feel like my brain is just cracking and trying to keep up. I feel like this Stice Gate Zero series is a lot more connected to the original Stice Gate series than I expected at first. I feel like there were a lot of references to what happened in the original Stice Gate series in the previous episode. And it has been a while since I watched the original series, so I didn't completely follow it. There were a few moments where I was actually lost. And if I had the time, I would have definitely rewatched the original series. But unfortunately, like, I'm already, like, busy with all kinds of things. So I'm just trying to follow this Steins Gate Zero series with the memories I have left of the original series. So yeah, like in a previous episode, we met up again with Makise Kurisu, the original one. Like for some reason, Okabe got sent back to the Alpha timeline or we assume that it is the Alpha timeline. We're not completely sure yet. In that timeline, it was once again Maishi who was dead. So Okabe once again like relived his like traumatic experiences. I don't know, like I just feel so bad for him. Like everywhere he goes, there's just some... Thing that's just so messed up and he just cannot flee from it because now he actually decided to let everything go and just live a normal life and then he still gets sent back to the alpha timeline but then by something else and we still need to figure out what it is or who is responsible but I feel like the trip to the alpha timeline definitely must have given Okabe some hints at least I hope so, otherwise it would have been all for nothing. So yeah, now I'm just really curious to see where Okabe got sent to this time, after he sent that D-mail together with Kurisu in the previous episode. So let's see what the situation right now is, and how the story's gonna continue from this point onwards. So I'm really excited to watch this episode, so without further ado, let's right into it. So let's go! Alright, I'm ready, so I'm gonna start the episode in 3, 2, 1, go! He's in the hospital. Why is he in the hospital? So he's back to the beta timeline. Okay, I assume that he's just back to the beta timeline right now. But he collapsed? Maybe at that time... Wait, when did he experience that reading Steiner from two episodes ago? That was during the happy, like the New Year's party, right? No, it happened after that. No, it was... I'm confused now. No, it was the New Year's party because there was... They also invited Maho, she took out the Amadeus, and then it stopped working, and then... No, 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 it happened after that, right? Way. Okay, may okay, doesn't matter, but at one point the Amadeus stopped working and that's also the moment where Okabe experienced the reading Steiner and that's when everything changed. And now I think he's back to that moment or even like further into the future, but then he must have collapsed at that time. <laughs> okay, it's already starting great. <laughs>
くん。Yeah, that's what I think as well. Yeah. Mm. But then, why is Fubuki the only one who collapsed and had the dream? Yeah, that must be really stressful. <laughs> Those emojis. <laughs> All these stamps, they're so cute. Can they just not have a like a normal conversation? <laughs> okay, well, it's something secret, of course. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Mm. Well, that's a tall building. <laughs> Exactly, like for Suha, it's a big deal whether the timeline changed or not. So there's just the beginning. Yep. All oh, right, so that earthquake was the trigger, probably. She missed it. Sort of. Yep.
Yep. Oh, <laughs> look at Daru, like acting like a real dad. Yeah, but what are they gonna do now? Yeah. Derpa. Oh, he's now just researching. Everything is finally starting to connect, even though I still don't know what it is. At least Okari knows. <laughs> I think I'll follow in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, I miss him. Ho in Kyoma. I know it's Okarin, but you know what I mean.
<laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> it's just the usual. Okay, <laughs> things are slowly starting to connect, even though <laughs> uh, I still have a long way to go before I like completely get everything. But at least Okarin is already a lot closer to to truth, and he's starting to get it. Alright, it was episode 9 of Time Gate Zero, another amazing episode, a lot of things happened in this episode. So where shall we begin? Let's start with the fact that Okarin came back to the beta timeline, so the original timeline as he sees it. Yeah, we just continued from where he regained his consciousness, we discovered that he um, fainted after experiencing that reading Steiner. Not just him, but also Fubuki for some reason. And after that, he was just laying in the hospital. And other than that, there wasn't like much change. But now we know for sure that he's back to the beta timeline. We have like the usual cast again. And we just continue with 
the investigation from where we left off. But we also now, like I said, a bit closer to the truth. Okarin is like finally starting to connect some dots also with the help of Kurisu inside his mind. He's just trying to think of how she would think of things and like together or with both perspectives they come close to the truth and like i said i personally am still not really seeing it but i feel like that will eventually come we know for sure that it has to do with that uh race between russia and america like their race to uh create the time machine and that's also related to that earthquake which was on the news and that was also uh, what caused the reading steiner because they're just kind of experimenting and that might have just coincidentally caused the reading steiner we also had that focus of Suzuha, like she, I know where she comes from, like she's just super stressed out, she has this really important mission, she wants to prevent that third world war, so for her like everything is on the line, like this is just her last chance to prevent that future, so for her like everything is on the line, so there's no room for mistakes. So I understand like she got super shocked when she kind of sort of noticed that, that there was a, like a shift in timelines but Okarin reassured her like it se for now it seems like they're back to the normal timeline and she's just getting impatient you know she knows that like Russia and the US are like really experiencing right now and starting to get closer to the truth so she feels like she has to finish this mission as fast as she can but thanks to her dad Daru oh that moment was just so sweet to see Daru acting as a real dad I don't know I just cannot get used to it but I don't know, he just, he surprisingly makes a good dad. Surprisingly. But of course, he's still like the usual dad who he still likes joking around from time to time. So I just like their like relationship, it's just really cute. But that was also the one who reassured her that they would just continue their research. So there's no need to like get impatient and reckless. They just need to think properly about it, of what to do next, and yeah, like it's not something they can do on their own, they need each other for that. So yeah, that's my question, what are they gonna do next? Now Ocarina is starting to like find out what's actually going on, who is behind all of this. He's just really like doing research, also a little bit with the help of Mr. Brown. So I'm just really excited, cannot wait to find out what Okabe is gonna discover in the next episode and what's gonna happen and everything. So yeah, that was my reaction to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you could see my other reaction videos, feel free to check out my channel. And of course, you can always check out my Patreon if you cannot wait to see my reaction to the next episode. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.